Okay, we've created our transition and we've got the tube into it and it, everything should be aligned. Um, I'm just shoving the shock cord into the tube right now just to get it out of the way. One of the issues that we have is how do we get it to stick to the end of the tube? Um, and to do that, we're going to build a little shoulder on the back end of the tube like this so that when we slide it together, it's, it gives somewhere where the glue can be attached. Um, so everything sticks together really nice. Um, so this step is about making that shoulder. And it's actually done with two strips of paper and they're on the transition template. Um, it says use this piece first. That's the first one we're going to use and then we're going to use the second one. It's, it's a two layer transition shoulder. Um, so I need my hobby knife and my glasses again. And we're going to cut these out. cut out and this is the first piece that we're going to use and again we're going to need to pre-curl it. This is going to be a little shy, tiny shoulder. And we'll do the same with the other one. We want the uh, all the dash lines on the outside so that we can see them. Okay, and that's going to be put into the front end of the tube and um, the words here are going to be on the inside of the tube and on the other side of the tube is the part that hangs out so you know exactly how much needs to hang out. And get a paper towel handy. I'll just put some glue on there. Smear it. Try to keep it off of the other part or you'll build up a thickness. I always wipe my finger off real quick. And while the glue is still wet, stick it into the tube. I'm just putting it right up. You can see my dash line. I want that dash line right on the very edge all the way around. If they get any glue on the outside of the tube, um, go ahead and wipe that off real quick. Um, just a little bit of water um, will take take the glue off while it's still dry or wet. Um, so I always just use a little spit. <laughs> My daughters hate that when I do that. If you don't get it off now, you're going to have to sand it off later and harder to sand it off later. Okay, so now we got one in and we want to do the, the same thing with the other. Um, now this time the, the wide part is the part that's going to go into the tube. So again, put a little bit of glue on there. usually your fingers that get the glue on the rocket tube. So keep those clean. So now again, I want to have the dash line right on that very edge of the outside, that first ring that we put in. Okay. 
Okay, I'm just pressing it down. And at this point, again, take a, I just licked the glue. <laughs> you don't want to get it too wet, just, just enough to get that glue off there. And that, we want to test fit it right now. Ooh, man, that feels really good. That went on really nice. All right, but don't let it glue on at this point yet. Um, we want to take our alignment tool and we want to slide it through. So you get both rings inside. And then we want to get it back into the engine ball, engine mount on the other end like that. Okay, now all this shock cord, if you're doing the shock cord internally, you got to shove that inside that transition or up inside the tube, but the first centering ring is right there, so you're going to have to shove it into this side. like herding cats, trying to get them in there. Stay in there. All right, I got it in. Make sure it's down far enough because we don't want to accidentally get the uh, shock cord inside the, the uh, shoulder there or we're going to glue it in there permanent. If you want to take, you can also wrap it around the tube because I know that tube is not, it's going to just slide right off. Okay, make sure that there's no shock cord showing there. And now we can put a little bit of glue on that shoulder there. Smear it around. You can see I'm, I'm pulling off a lot of the glue. I only want a thin film on it. Try to get both rings, but not any on the tube. All right. And then just slide this forward. Get it over those rings, or those that shoulder, and right onto the tube. And if any glue oozes out, wipe that off real quick, because we don't want anything on the outside. Now, ideally, when you have this done, um, you shouldn't feel any lip of the uh, transition hanging over the tube. Um, it's sized, so when you put it together right, when you line everything up, um, to be just perfect. Um, so if it's hanging off, that means you're going to have to sand it off later, and we don't want to really do that. If it's a little bit too small, that's fine, because we can always fill in the, any gap with glue. Uh, on this one here, I got it pretty good. Now the only thing I want to do now is to put uh, just a really thin layer of glue on the outside of that seam where they came together. Um, I just want to make sure that the tube doesn't open up in the middle or the transition doesn't open up in the middle. So. Just a very, 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 very thin coat. And then I want to smooth it out. If any gets on the tube down there at the bottom, again, wipe it off. If you don't wipe it off now, you're going to have to sand it off later. Um, so our next step will be to add the fins. Um, but while, while we're waiting for the glue to dry, leave this tube inside. Only when the glue is dried, uh, go ahead and pull it out.